guys on today's tutorial we're gonna show you how to update your iPhone into iOS 8.1 okay so that's the latest update so we're gonna get right into it um this video isn't for you guys that are just going from iOS 6 or 7 to 8 um, this is from 8 and you're just doing the little update okay uh, for this update it's not a huge update so it will fix some of the stuff that you have on your iPhone that may have problems okay um, but other than that it's a, it's pretty small update so you don't need to do a whole backup okay if you're I know iOS 7 and you're going to wait you need to do a backup for sure on your iTunes on your computer okay for your iPhone or iPad or iPod touch and um, you also need to do a backup on your iCloud in this case we're just gonna make sure that our iCloud is all backed up so we're gonna go into iCloud okay so first of all go into settings okay in settings just go down to iCloud and check out your iCloud if it was backed up recently if it was yesterday, you're, you should be fine, okay? So we're gonna go to manage storage, and we're gonna see our backup, okay? So that's for my iPhone. Okay, so we can choose what data gets um, stored on our iCloud and everything. So once we verify that everything's good, it says backup yesterday, it's good enough. We can just go back on it, okay? The same thing goes if you have an iPad, okay? So whether you have an iPad, iPhone, this same thing okay so um, let's just go to general under general you're gonna see software update you click on software update and you're gonna see 8.1 so that's the latest right now it fixes some of your stuff um, but it could screw some other stuff if, if especially if you're going from iOS 7 uh, to 8 uh, I've been getting some emails and comments on some videos that they have uh, this this update has screwed up their phone um, especially if you have your battery placed on your phone okay, if you have an old iPhone an iPhone 4s or, s or something like that and you had your um, battery placed not by Apple but by some other technician or you did it yourself this might screw up your phone okay so just be careful with that and make your proper backup so um, all you have to do is click on install now just click on I agree agree again and it's gonna verify update so if you've done the update before from 8 to 8.0.2 .2, this is kinda the same a little bit different okay um, the main difference is that 8.0.2 .2 was uh, even a smaller update so we didn't have to really wait for it it downloaded really fast and this one actually takes a bit more time so you will see that your iPhone screen should go black okay so right now you won't see anything on because it my iPhone screen is black um, now what you should see on your screen okay once again same thing on your iPad um, you will see the Apple logo come on once you see the Apple logo come on for two seconds it'll go off once it does that, it, it's going to start that little bar, it's going to start to load up again. Um, in this case, after the, um, the update's done, okay, so it's doing right now. So after the update's done, it's going to ask you, might ask some of you for your Apple ID again. For most of you, no. Since it's a small up, update, it doesn't really ask you again for all that information which you may have had to input when you change into from iOS 7 to 8 okay so once again this smaller update um right now we're just looking at the bar right now you guys can kind of see that in the video um so we're just gonna wait for it remember your iPhone don't have it at 50% okay it does let you do the update if you have 50% battery however don't do that don't run out of battery when you're doing this okay so have it plugged in I would rec highly recommend having it plugged into your wall plug or to your computer and then doing the update for sure okay so you don't run out of battery halfway through um, some people have done that um, you run out of battery halfway through that screw up your system you have to restore it and the whole thing again and that's why we make um, these backups just in case as well right things don't always go a hundred percent with these things um, anyways we're gonna wait for it and then you guys are gonna see how it starts up again and what changes Apple has made from this tiny update okay so we'll see that in a few seconds hey guys so after your updates done you will see that your iPhone just came back on and that's about it, it maybe ask will ask you for your iCloud information probably not okay since it's a really small update you will probably not ask you again 
Uh, once again, if you guys have any questions, comments about the update, or you know, you have questions about updating your iPad, which is the same process, um, iPad Touch as well, just ask here below, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.